for like six thousand six thousand cities. No delay party wo moti yo na 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 when I show for your party yo there must jo 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 ele boche ele boche se ele boche se no de buga no de buga se no de buga se ele boche se Ela pode ser, não de buga, não de buga ser, não de buga ser. People always asking, why I can't see you? When we gon' link, I'm busy like, you know, but, yeah. Yeah, we outside today. If you really looking for me, I'm miles away. I be with my peoples in a hideaway. They can only see me on the holidays. Yeah. All the years my dad been locked up, now he finally free. Breaking generational curses, yeah, that started with me. So all my fans and my friends, they depending on me. All this pressure on my back and I can hardly breathe. Ain't no shame in my game, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Got the heart of a lion, so they know I'm a king. People see me all the time and say you doing your thing. Then they hit me back saying, yo, when we gon' link, but I ain't got the time today. But I probably hit you if I'm round away. I be in the crib, that's where I hibernate. They gon' only see me on the holidays, yeah. When they see me, it's different forms. Cause we steady elevating through the storm. Ain't no putting off yet, we just putting on. So breathe. They take your kindness for weakness and your presence for granted The moment you give up your access, then they stories recanted How you come out standing tall the whole time he was sure handed And how the root of all evil get recycled and replanted Yo, Hey guys what's up so today i'm here to rant like here i was thinking i was going to start off this vlog with you know a lit concert because i went for the whiskey live concert on saturday but i was stood up by whiskey like i was so happy because you know um i wanted to go but then happy was like there's no way he's letting me go by myself and so i thought it wasn't going to happen actually on that saturday i went out i think i came back home like after six ish and when i got back hubby was like do you still want to go and i was like yeah i want to go and he was like he agreed to go with me which was like a very last minute decision but i was so glad that you know he was doing that for me so we got prepared left the house we even left the house like quite late we left the house like after eight and we finally got to the venue like everything was a mess everything was a mess we got to the venue um getting into the stadium was another problem like i think it took us like 30 to 45 minutes or even like to an hour before we finally managed to get into the stadium like when we got there i think whilst we were outside i heard um what's her name Jackie performing and yeah but by the time we got in Jackie had finished performing and the only proper performances we saw were um what's his name Daco Vibes and Ifia and even like everything was very very bad everything was poorly organized I will even lie um sound light and the most annoying part was we didn't even get like what we paid for so like the category of tickets we paid for when we got there i don't know if they oversold i, I really don't know because you can't tell me you oversold and then the, the stadium was like empty you know 
and they eventually went to put us at this place they said it's called the presidential box the view from the um, presidential box or whatever was actually very good i'm not even gonna lie it was it was such a good spot because we had like a proper view of the stage and everything but that wasn't what we paid for and i don't know there was this other hype um hype man or hype mc or whatever he was just pissing me off <laughs> to be fair he was just pissing me off like he was just screaming throughout and some of the songs he didn't even know the lyrics to the songs and he wants to you know like sing along it was just so annoying but then yeah big ups to um kojo manuel i think kojo manuel actually did a good job he managed to you know hold the crowd down when everybody was like where's whiskey where's whiskey because we came here for whiskey and whiskey is not showing up fortunately for us we sort of had like an inside information that whiskey um, has refused to come perform and so we just made up our mind that if it's like i think we, we decided if it was like two and whiskey is not out we'll leave the place because I, I don't even remember the time we got to the stadium like we left the house at eight we passed by a sky bar sat at sky bar for like an hour before we left to the stadium so i think we got to the stadium roughly by like when we sat down properly properly i think we got in there let me see because i think i should i should see from my phone like from the pictures i took it would have time stamps yeah so actually we finally got a place to sit like when they took us to the what's it called presidential box or whatever it was it was actually past um 11 30 it was yeah because the first picture i have for me sitting up there was like 11 47 so let's say we roughly settled down like had a place to sit and everything around 11 30 and when we got to like to find out that whiskey was you know refusing to come perform and all of that we made up our mind that if it was i think we said if it was too old i don't even remember the, the time we left there but we left way before like you know the whole show came to an end like before everybody left and all of that because we had already had an inside information that whiskey was like refusing to come out to perform and so we gave ourselves you know a specific time that if he doesn't show up by this time we're gone so yeah we just left and i was just i was just hoping that i wouldn't hear the next day that he came to perform because that would have been so annoying and especially after you know hubby you know had decided to go with me and because he is not really like a concert type of person so he like did it because of me because i said i wanted to go that was why he like you know said we should go so yeah we left the place i think we left there maybe after two or close to three and that was it a part of me was actually hoping that i'll wake up the next day and the news would be you know he didn't show up so that that means i didn't i didn't miss anything and a part of me also wished that the news would have been like you know he finally appeared and yeah so that people would be like pleased that you know they spent money to come and see him perform and all of that but yeah i woke up the next morning and it was the same west kid didn't show up he stood us up and the whole of yesterday actually I, I slept through i was like yesterday was sunday i just relaxed throughout because i got back home so tired i woke up yesterday and i was still tired because i hadn't been out like that late in like a very long time so my body like i was just tired so i got back home and the whole of yesterday i slept and today i decided to come on here to rant because i need to rant i really need to rant but anywho oh come on i've not even welcomed you guys <laughs> to to my channel anywho welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is naku alute and you're most welcome however i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family i'm sorry about you know my rant i'm not usually like this and to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back and so yeah today i don't even know what i'm doing today but yeah we'll see how the day goes hey guys what's up so on my agenda for today i'm doing um auntie duties i promised my nieces and nephews i was going to take them 
to the playground when you know school is on vacation and school is on vacation now so i need to fulfill my promise today is actually a saturday and so i'm just going to quickly take my bath get ready and take them to the playground so we're going to this place i've actually been there before um gazebo view i've been there before i've been there once i went there for um a birthday party it was like a, a kids party um at the time they had the mini what's it called golf course and you know a playground but i wasn't really like up to date but then now i've seen that they've sort of you know specked up the place they have a lot of rides slides and all of that and i think they've changed the name now it's accra a car park or something out confirm and then put it on here um it's at jolu so yeah that's where we're going to and so let me quickly go take my bath and i'll keep you guys posted as always guys so i came across this um brand on instagram um it's kuva official and they're actually running sale so i decided to order two of their outfits i like the way they give off you know like rich auntie vibes so i ordered two and then they got delivered today like i ordered them this morning and i received them like this afternoon and i'm so impressed i can't wait to rock these like properly because i love them I really really do love them so you can check them out because i'm quite impressed and the quality of the fabric is unmatched so yeah check them out this is not a paid ad anyways i am just you know plugging you guys hey guys what's up so um today is just another day of me um being home i guess because i don't think i'm going out today however i bought um, a mirror earlier this week or sometime I can't even remember when I got it, but yeah, I got a new mirror, but then it hasn't been installed yet. So I'm going to have it installed today. Happy is going to do that for me. But guys, tell me how. So it's like a, a full length mirror, right? So tell me how a full length mirror, like people were quoting 6,000 Ghana cities. I didn't expect a mirror to be <laughs> that expensive. So when I started messaging people, I was quite surprised that like, somebody is selling a full length mirror. For like six thousand CDs, six thousand CDs. But yeah, the one I finally got, um, I think the actual price was like two thousand four hundred or two thousand six hundred. But then they are running a sale, so I got it for two thousand two hundred, which I think is quite okay because I saw some selling for like three thousand. I think three thousand was like the most common price I saw. Um, the 6,000 one is like obviously the most outrageous price I came across and I finally got one which is 2,200 like I got it for 2,200 but then the actual price was 2,400 I think so yeah I'm going to have that done today like the mirror installed and I also have this other one which I got I think last year I got it from Oka Deco it's like a round mirror but I never really had it like properly installed anywhere so i'm going to have hubby help me install that one as well and yeah that's what i'm doing today to be fair of late i really don't get up too much i know you guys are expecting a lot of vlogs from me i don't know that but yeah i'll make it up to you guys because yeah I don't know how make up to you guys um i have like some other videos planned and so we try and get those ones out of the way and hopefully we'll be back to you know being consistent so yeah that's about it <laughs> Hey guys what's up um so today is saturday tomorrow is actually christmas day and myself and my sister-in-laws we planned um like a family picnic sort of thingy so we're about to 
head off to the mountains um, and we botanical garden for our family picnic and so we're just getting fuel before we set off so it's me my sister in law hubby their partners my brother is also in town so yeah let's go She wanna know me, I stay low key, all cats, no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? From the family picnic um, we went to Ibri for you know a little get together with hubby and my sister-in-laws and their partners their husbands and their kids and my brother is also in town so yeah we all went for like a family day out and so as soon as we got home I quickly because I didn't drive so I quickly you know took my car I'm on my way to the salon to get rid of my braids I've had these braids for over a month actually I don't even know if it's like close to two months but it's been like over a month and like it's very messy the whole front is so messy whenever I'm going out I have to like you know proper gel it down so I'm going to get rid of it and I don't even know how long my hair is now, like the length of my hair. But I think I'll just get my hair in um, cornrows so I can just put on wigs for for this week and maybe next week. And then I'll figure out what to do to my hair properly um, after for yeah for next week. So I'll figure out what to do to my hair properly after the new year so that's what i'm up to i'm on my way to the salon now it's actually past five it's 5 30 and today is you know christmas eve so i'm thinking if i don't do my like if i don't get it done today because tomorrow is 25th i'm not too sure if like salons would open after church and i, I have quite a busy day tomorrow so it's best i do it today so I'm just on my way to the salon to get that done now and I'll keep you guys posted as always. You got it. 